Hey everybody and welcome back to Extreme Heat Peat Reviews. I am Extreme Heat Peat. I hope everyone is feeling fantastic. The weather in the UK has finally improved and it's been beautiful the past few days. So I've got myself back in the studio. This look of the studio will be completely different very soon because we've got new shelving units going up on these walls very, very soon. So hopefully by the next video they'll be shelving up with some of my beloved products on display but let's crack on with today's review and today's review comes from a new source producer that I came across uh, on the some like a hot dot shop website their link name is in the description below right there plus a link to their website is in the description there below they've got over 600 plus hot sauces from all over the world on their website at amazing prices too and if you use that code extreme 10 at the checkout you'll save yourself 10 percent off all orders it's only plenty of pens and pounds so the source review i'm bringing you is from underwood ranchers and it is their 1867 pepper sauce handcrafted in the us of a now I've seen a few people review products from under the Underwood Ranchers brand, but they've all been American. I've not seen any people in the UK yet review it, so I'm basically the first person in the UK to review this. So I saw this on their website. It's about six, seven pounds. Not bad. If you use that code, you can get even cheaper. So Underwood Ranchers 1867 Pepper Sauce. And we'll see if there's any information in which there there isn't any much information to tell you about this sauce apart from if you head over to the website it'll give you a nice in-depth description of what it's all about but for nutritional facts per five six gram serving so slightly bigger than a teaspoon you've got zero calories for all you calorie counters out there as you can see zero calories Ingredient wise, we have got jalapeno peppers, water, vinegar, salt, and xanthan gum. Very not many ingredients in there whatsoever. It does look like it's a very loose sauce, so I'm kind of expecting there to be a restrictor in this. I'll be very surprised if there's not a restrictor. Um, you can also find the full range of Underwood. Ranchers sources at www.underwoodranchers.com. I'll leave their website in the description right there below, as well as the website for some like it hot dot shop. So let's crack this open. I do like the colour of it, it's a nice deep red. I'm presuming, well, I don't presume it's made with red jalapenos. Surprise me enough. And get the, uh, the old collar off that, get rid of that. So, uh, as you can see, yeah, it is a very, very loose sauce. Now, loose sauces normally scream at me by going high vinegar content, and everybody knows me, I'm not a big fan of high, high vinegar content sauces. But I understand that you have to put vinegar in your sauces, but are more natural flavors, me. That's personal preference. But I'm going to give this a honest review. Yep, yeah, as predicted. I'll just drop the lid. There, it has got the flow restrictor on. Now, as I do with all my videos, I like to remove the flow restrictor so I can get a nice even coating on my spoon. Oh. Tickled the back of my nose a bit with a, a good waft of vinegar. I can smell the um, jalapenos there as well. Oh, anyway, that's the old spoon. Yeah, look at that pour, it comes out really, really easy. Nice colour on the spoon, mind. Red sauce. On the blue back blue background of the spoon. V 
very surprising. <sighs> the first thing I'm hit with is a nice flavour of punchy jalapenos. A nice pop of flavour. So I've got a bit of wind. Nice pop of flavour on the palate. It sits on your tongue, it starts bouncing around on your tongue. Um, baking about it, the jalapeno. The jalapeno is very, very prominent. It's really tasty. That vinegar is borderline. Right, any more vinegar to this, and it'll be a really disgusting sauce. It's on the level, it's just balanced right. So I've got the balance of the jalapenos, that vinegar, perfect. Salt is not too salty, it's got a nice, nice balance of salt to that. What would I have this with? I'd, oh, fish and chips. Yeah, I'll put the flow strips back on it. Dash it out over your fish and chips, uh, your pie and chips. Um, fish, probably go well with fish, it doesn't really tell you what it goes well with but normally jalapenos I find normally go really well with a bit of fish your chicken your tacos uh, your Mexican foods they probably go really really well with that but yeah it's quite enjoyable I wouldn't go completely mad with it but it's not bad I really need to look up what the 1867 means because it's obviously got a meaning to this producer I'd also add this to uh, soups or stews to your chili con carne add a bit of kick to your chili con carne for me on a heat scale now, this is being brutally honest with you. This is hitting me about a two and a half on a heat scale, which is all right because it's classed as a mild. Well, it doesn't really say that it's mild, but I'd say it's a, a two and a half on my heat scale for me. It's not too bad. It's giving me a bit of a nose run, a little bit of sweat building up on the old, the old forehead. So it's really, that is really promising. Now we're gonna go back for no spoon of this normally after a second spoon the sauce improves and sometimes it goes downhill but nine out of ten times you go for a second spoon you get more of the flavors going right around your mouth so delicious now I have got a few other products from the Underwood Ranchers sauce range to if you have a sec I've got a bit of a snotty one coming well, you've seen me in a previous video I reviewed the premium chilli and garlic sauce more of a dipping sauce and that was really really tasty so this is just matched it it's tasty very tasty go check it out at underwood ranchers www.underwoodranchers.com or at some like it hot www.somelikeithot.shop use that code extreme 10 check out so that has been my review of the underwood ranchers 1867 pepper sauce packs flavor packs a nice bit of heat go grab yourself a bottle you will not be disappointed so now we're moving on to my pain relief sponsors which is none other than dr b's elixir cooling mouth spray for instant relief from spicy food now you could purchase a bottle of this dr b's two ounce dr b's cooling mouth spray 10 sprays of this in your mouth bang the pain the 
the pain of eating the spicy products is gone by 80 to 70 percent 70 to 80 percent of the pain from consuming spicy products is gone it basically send neutralizes the pain receptors in the mouth and sends the signals to the brain where you've basically had something really really mild when you've not you've had to blow your socks off super super hot uh, i don't tend to use this on a daily basis i only tend to use this when i've had something really really spicy and it's really lit me up and i've got a busy day ahead of me which i need to chill and relax before i crack on with my day but this stuff 100 percent works if you've not seen my test videos please check out my test videos on my youtube channel and just search dr b's test and those videos will appear so go check that out but for now i have been dropping my spoon but i have been extreme heat pete this has been my review of the underwood ranchers 1867 sauce go check it out tell me what you think in the comments if you've had this before or drop me in a just get, get involved in a conversation in the comment section tell me what you think of my videos and everything I'm always open to hearing what everyone thinks of them. Now, please remember to give me a big thumbs up to enjoy this video. Please share your friends and family. Smash that red button, turn it grey, you know what to do. Keep on subscribing. The more you subscribe, the more amazing product reviews I bring your way. And help me reach that 500 subscriber target, which I'm trying to reach by the end of this year. We are really, really close. In fact, we're so close, we could even smash it by the end of the year. So please help me do that. Also, ring that bell, be notified every time EHP uploads a video. For now, Extreme Heat Pete is out of here. I will see you later. Bye.